Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. I needed something more, and the only place to go was up. So I made a plan. I set it out in motion, but every night for eight months, that's what I would visualize as receiving my tracksuit. I wanted to make the NHL. I wanted to make a difference to those players involved at this level. And eight months from that day that I decided that that's what I was gonna do is when I received my very first tracksuit. They need a curved kickback where they're, they're watching, they can keep their body and their eyes and their shoulders on the play, but they can move wherever they want to. Less than half of NHL teams employ a full-time power skating coach. And of that small fraternity, only two of them are female. Meet Danielle Fujita of the Calgary Flames, who on this day earned her paycheck. Donovan Bennett. Danielle, you ready the for chosen this? one. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Yeah, turn me into an NHL prospect, please. I will do that. PTO for you. I've had pros say, Danielle, this stuff is like going to the dentist. You know, they, they don't wake up in the morning getting all excited to do it, but they understand that it's necessary. And if they want to keep their jobs, they know they need to improve their skating. That's number one. But number two, it's, it's a huge focus for me to make sure that whatever I provide them is entertaining. Here, you're like, hey, hey. Right? You're like this, and I'm like, <laughs> Born and raised in Tabor, Alberta, Fujita taught figure skating for three decades, but her dream was always to work in hockey. Her NHL journey started with a call to a former flame. My daughter was a figure skater, and Danielle was on the ice, and Danielle actually worked with her. And then I noticed Danielle was doing some power skating too. And I thought, it'd be nice to have someone in town here to work with our guys and just talking to my daughter, Sydney, and to see how she was as a coach, she loved her, you know, thought it was great. So I remember Danielle said, hey, can we have a meeting one day? I thought, yeah, what could it hurt? Sure, let's do it. I reached out to Craig Conroy. It's Craig that said, listen, if this is really what you want to do, then do it. So let's just see you skate fours as much into that hockey stance as you can. So be nice and short like me, get down to my level. Yep, stick on the ice. Vegeta spent three years working part-time with the Flames, but this is her first year as a full-time employee. Good. I've spent many, many years making sure I know what I'm talking about and making sure that what I'm talking about has proof, there's results. So when I hit the ice with these guys, I always simplify it so it makes sense to them. And if it doesn't make sense, then I find a new way to say it. But the root of it is I have to know what I'm talking about. And as soon as I get into the science side of things, their eyes always light up. Whoa, I never thought of it that way. Like tight turns are like driving a car. And so we go into the analogy of that and it pieces it together for them. That then gains confidence in me from their perspective. They understand that I know what I'm talking about. I'm not just a figure skater trying to enter the hockey world. I actually know the sport. First off, I think for her to approach it the way she does, I think it makes all the difference, honestly, and how she structures it and, and what she puts into it really makes it enjoyable for every guy to do it. So how are your jabs or punch stops or... Yep. Yep. Okay, stop. So I can see how the blade is sitting on the ice. And a misconception out there is coaches always saying, dig, dig, dig. We don't want the blade digging into the ice. That's creating nothing but friction. You know, the blade is gonna be clamped by the ice that way. We want the blade running and, and gliding on the ice. So, kick back. So you stop like that? Stop. So if I'm like, that's it. No crossing over? Without crossing over. Almost, that's right. And it's like, ha <laughs> ha. Hinge this leg. Okay, so like, bam, bam, bam. The guy who roams this bench, Coach Sutter, is an old school hockey man. For him to have you part of the organization, what does that buy-in mean to you personally, but also your ability to get things done? Yeah, he's, a, he's an older farm boy. I'm from a farming community. The mentality used to be that, you know, power skating is a bag skate. You just get out there and you just condition the, the boys to death. and. Hope that, you know, they have the burn. 
power skating's not like that anymore, and Daryl knows it. He has been nothing but welcoming to this whole process and understanding that change is necessary, and he's on board. It was important that we had a relationship so that we could trust each other and what, what was going on. I could say, hey, you should go grab so-and-so for a few minutes and work on that, or, or she'll watch and say, do you think I should be doing something with him? So that's really important to have that communication and, and, then, to, and then for her to feel comfortable doing that. You're in a male-dominated space, you know, one of the uh, last old boys clubs, if you will, in our culture. Have you run into scenarios where people were not as willing for your feedback or your inclusion in the sport? You know what, oftentimes I do. I still, to this day, you'll run into it. But once you prove you know what you're talking about, you can show that there's results. As soon as they see the results, their minds quickly change. And that usually settles them down and allows them to be open-minded to what I have to offer. In addition to working with current Flames, she's also asked to provide input to the Flames scouting staff. In March, she attended the NHL Top Prospects Combine and Game to evaluate future talent. First, I'll start with just efficiency. That's the first thing that will stand out is, do they have a natural run of their blade? Do they get the glide that they need? And then I'll look at the quality of the skating skills. You have to look at height and stature, their girth. There's so many things that affect their skating. When I watch a tall guy stride, it's gonna be different than a shorter guy who strides. Uh, the ice coverage is gonna be a little bit different. And you have to take that into consideration, but there are true errors to a stride and true errors to turning. And so you pick out those errors. And so say if a, a guy, whether he's tall, short, medium, doesn't matter, strides with their feet incredibly wide apart the whole entire time, he's not gonna be efficient. She spends countless hours watching video. Any scouting viewing, it's so much better live, right? It's so much more valuable. You see all the idiosyncrasies, especially when you're talking about skating. You know, she's part of our staff. You know, that's just how it is. We, we have scouts there. She's an integral part of our staff. There'll be players we take or don't take based on her recommendation. And so you have to get her in front of those players on a regular basis. She's really good. And I think she's as good as anybody in this field. And uh, we're lucky to have her. Here, cut through. There, that's better. You give Donovan Bennett the same recipe you give Johnny Hockey? Darn right. <laughs> Johnny's a naturally talented skater, for sure. And I am not. <laughs> <laughs> you have some work to do, but you're on your way. If I were to tell a little girl watching a junior A game when she was three, four years old, that she'd be on the ice at the Saddle Dome, she'd be featured on Hockey Night, what would she think? Uh, that would blow my mind. It, it, that actually gets me a little bit emotional. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's overwhelming to think um, that I'm here, like I've made it. I never take that moment for granted. I will put that track suit on with just a pause, just reminding myself of how grateful I am, how appreciative I am for everybody's support and believing in me and my ability and allowing me to be a part of this journey with them.